Hey y'all, tonight on Hot Tub Beer Review, we're going fishing with Fish Boy Strawberry Rhubarb Ale from Against the Grain Brewery out of Louisville, Kentucky. I think I got a big one on the line. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are reviewing and drinking and reviewing and drinking. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. We are back to do that once again. What are we drinking tonight, gentlemen? Fish Boy. It's the green. One of our fun breweries we visited a few times out of Louisville. So. All right. Let's crack her open. Mine is a wee bit foamy. Whoa, it's happy to get out of the can. It it's all strawberry rhubarbing on me. Maybe the first person in the history of language to make a verb out of rhubarb. <laughs> ah, the uh, aroma comes through for sure. Mm. I've got effervescence. Always waiting on Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. How about that? Well, this is a very light and sessionable beer at 3.2%. Fish Boy is a fruited ale. It's no longer in production. Um, I found, I, I don't know if it was a one and done. Um, maybe they'll bring it back in the future, but they called it a quote, self collaboration, not a collaboration with another brewery, a self collaboration. So one of the co-founders and brewmasters at against the grain revived his self-made home brewery from 1993 called fish boy brewery brewing fish boy brewing boy with a Y, not an I. So not a boy, a boy. And it is a strawberry and rhubarb ale. For those of you who don't know what rhubarb is, it is a vegetable, it has a fleshy stalk. It's got a tart taste. Rhubarb. The hops used in this beer is our grungiest or grungest. Yes, I had to look that up. And it is actually a type of hop grunge ist G R U N G E I S T. I was like, that can't be real. Yes, it's real. I think they're out of Washington. But don't quote me on that. And the malt are uh, carapils, honey malt, pilsner, wheat. And it uses super San Diego yeast. Well, that was cool. I was like, wow. It's not just San Diego yeast. It's super. It's like mighty yeast. I'm parched. Let me drink. Do we know what San Diego we have, yeast is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, but not just regular San Diego yeast. It's super. Yes. Uh, we have reviewed a couple from against the grain brewery out of louisville kentucky it's a microbrewery founded in 2011 uh by four guys who were all involved in um brewing at other brewer breweries and they just they thought it was generic and they wanted to break away and decided to start their own our first was Bo and Luke, and then we've also done the Brown Notes, which, yep. as crude as it was, were those the only two we've done? Was there a third? I don't know if we did the Sit Your Ass Down or not. Yeah. 
No? Mm, I don't think we have. We've not. But... That seems so familiar. I thought we did. Uh, you and I have probably okay. had it multiple times. We've discussed it, I know. We've past. discussed it. I mean, against the grain, it, it's a cool brewery. I, I, when we talked about it previously. Oh, oh. They've got it. London Balling. Up there. That London was Balling. it. Yeah. Yep. London so, Balling. They also have, a, I think their stout is what called 70K or something like that. <clears throat> but uh, they have a nice smokehouse with their, their brewery there. I just want to say, fun. The only reason I got this, well, not that, I want to say the only two reasons I got it. What caught my eye was the can art. Pretty fun guy with the little, looks like a kitty fishing pole and, you know, the beer on the line. But then when I looked down, fish boy, and then I saw rhubarb, and I was like, well, son of a biscuit eater. I've never had rhubarb in a beer. Let me, let's try this definitely better than any pickle beer i've ever had so mm. i'll second that oh, you will oh, yeah Good to know. Mm. even though i've supplied yeah. both the pickle beers i think yeah at this point. <laughs> <laughs> i did find a good pickle you've beer supplied the worst beers we've had on here yeah banana bread we had to go through this again i mean desert island banana bread for you both the pickle beers and that just been horrible at least all of us each had to get our own like bush beer you know bush light or whatever what can i say I like, I like to torture you guys i mean you know it's funny after we had those we had so i had a couple other pickle beers that and i really like them there's there's the ones that we haven't tried that are, i enjoy We're not going to go there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back oh, to the fish. I think board. Ben is is about to supply the fourth of our fourth four worst beers coming down the pike. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going four for four. Is that what you're yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, any more right. on the fish boy? No. Other more, huh? All right. All right. I'll- I will go first, Ben. Jay, why don't you jump in there? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, This is an interesting beer. Uh, Andy, I I can't remember, but I think I've actually had a beer that had rhubarb in it once before. Um, It is an odd thing to see in beer, but I think the ones that I, or the one that I had probably had a pumpkin rhubarb, which would be a little more. What a curious spear. Um, in this case, uh, the strawberry comes through for sure. I, rhubarb, I, I don't know if I can tell the difference whether, whether that's in here or what it tastes like as much to me. Um, it's uh, easy drinking, uh, low ABV. Uh, I like it, but it's not something I'm going to want to drink a lot of. Uh, I'm probably going to go with a seven on this one. Um, I do love the can art, love, love the brewery. I mean, we've had some good stuff from there. Uh, but this one to me is, a, uh, I'll, I'll still drink it if you hand it to me, but I'm not going to search it out. All right, Andy. I agree. I would, I would drink it again. If you're like, hey, you very, you drink this. Have you have it? I was like, yeah, yeah, I've had it. it the taste is muted. Yep. Maybe it's a 3.5% or 3.2%. I don't know what rhubarb tastes like. I, I'm i sure I may have had it in the past. But I can definitely taste a little strawberry flavor coming out of it. But it is like muted, kind of a watered down taste. It's... I would say it's crushable, but man, I have got a burp on deck that I got to get out and it is so carbonated. Uh, I, I wouldn't call something this carbonated crushable. Excuse me. Cause, no, cause I wouldn't want to have more and more of this and feel this burpy, but 
easy drinking in the sense that it is light and it has got a refreshing taste to it. But not in the refreshing that I just want to belch. Uh, given that, I won't buy it again. I would drink it again if given to me against the grain. You get a pass on this. I still like the brewery. Uh, I'm not going to hold this against you. Six and a half. Decent beer. It's fun. I get to say I've had rhubarb in a beer now. Well, congratulations. Um, Yay, woo! <laughs> I get a badge or a, you know, a life goal or something like that. Get something. Um, so I, this one to me, I, the, the best way I can sum this up is it is a um, like a flavored strawberry flavored seltzer water is what it tastes like to me. It's one of those that's, you know, if you ever have a seltzer water that it, it has some fruity flavor to it, it's not a lot. It's not, you don't feel like you're drinking a strawberry soda. It's just a little hint of it. That's for me exactly what this tastes like. I don't drink them that often. My wife likes them, so I'll, I've had one before, but that's what this reminds me of. It's, it's very carbonated. It's so light that it's like drinking water in a sense. Um, and I, it, it, it's very dry on the back end um, as well, which I don't really like uh, with, with the limited flavor that I get. So I don't really care for this one at all. Um, so, I, you know, I can see, I guess, what you said. They don't really make it anymore. Um, it's no longer in production. That's probably a good call on their part, if, if, if I can say that. Um, yeah, say what you want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This one for me is a four. I, I, you know, it's weak <laughs> flavor. It's high carbonation. It's just nothing that I want in a beer. So, um, so. if you were to take like a mix of ultra, I love the other against the grain beers we've had. Some of that so. squeeze stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. If you were given two, you know, a macro light American lager and this, like you said, an ultra and this, what would you, what would you choose? This is just like taking the little squeezed strawberry stuff and putting it in the milk culture. Yeah. Like a miso so, yeah. or, you yeah. know. Uh... Yeah. That's what, yeah. I, if it was between an ultra and this, that'd be a tough choice. If it was between Thank like a, a natty light in this, I'd, I'd go natty light. You know, I mean. Really? Well, the macros yeah. that we've well, reviewed that. You're just going for the alcohol. You look at his scores, though. No, I mean, I, 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 I just don't like anything it. about Ben. I just don't like it. It's not. It's not it's enough so strawberry sweet. or rhubarb to give you any flavor on the beer. I need more rhubarb in my exactly. life. Exactly. <laughs> you do. Yes. Um, you got to make it just punch in, punch me in the face. No, with that I'm rhubarb. saying the flavor. And then I like, like you. Said, <laughs> it's so muted. There's the flavor. It's just there's nothing there. It's so weak. Um, and unless you eat rhubarb, how do you know what the hell rhubarb tastes like? Anyway. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm not like trying to make you like it better. I'm just trying to like you would rather have a natty light over this. Yes. If it was yes, in the difference of two percent of alcohol more. It's yeah, not the I'd alcohol. Have, for if me, I just want the, the alcohol, yeah, I'm going to go with that. But if I want the flavor, this has got a hell of a lot more flavor than a natty. It's if I want the flavor, I'd rather have the the light macro beer flavor of a natty light than this. For me, I think you catching COVID like four or five times has just like completely shattered your taste buds. So that's a rhubarb, you know that, right? Yeah, it's like a, almost like a celery stalk in some ways. A red stalk. Yeah. Come on, boy. Stay away. That's what I say. Looks like poison oak. <laughs> That will give us a 5.8 for the Fish Boy Strawberry Rhubarb Ale from Against the Grain. Definitely one if you find on the shelves out there, it's probably old because it's not in production anymore. Give it a <laughs> shot, though. I mean, you're not going to get another shot at it, drink. so you might as well, might as well try it. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, one we, you know, uh, I think have a little bit of mixed thoughts on. Uh, so, uh, you know, check it out. Let us know what you think. If you've had it, give us a comment down below. And uh, we'd love to have that in the comments section. Uh, also, 
check us out on all social media links down below in the description. We're pretty much everywhere these days. And uh, check us out on our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. Discord is just a uh, chat room type place. Uh, so you can go check that out and join the chat room with three of us and the others who have joined us. Uh, and we would love to hear from you there. Um, if you have any interest in any Hopped Up Beer Review merch, we've got a link down below with some shirts and some other things. You can pick something else out there. They make great holiday gifts, birthdays, weddings. Um, you know, any day gifts. Any day. I mean, I'd love to have gotten a, a, a set of four Hopped Up Beer Review glasses for my wedding. That would have been great. Um, so, That's six. Yeah. Four, six, yeah, great. Yeah, don't, don't skip, right? Um, that's it. Just end it. For Andy in the attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. It's appealing. Or you could look at Ben's shirt that has never been washed. Yeah. Bow, pungent individual he is. <laughs>